Hey horror fans, um, thanks for joining me underwater uh, for a review of Sea Fever. Yes, we are taking it underwater here and uh, you know me, I'm not really one for voyages and going in the water, but uh, that's where we are and uh, that's what this one is sort of about. And uh, of course, as always, cast and crew information will be down below. And uh, I will start off with I the IMDb plot for this movie. Uh, the crew of a West of Ireland thrawler, marooned at sea, struggle for their lives against a growing parasite in their water supply. So yeah, the movie starts... Um, with a, a young girl um, who's very smart and uh, I don't know if you want to I don't know exactly what what it is exactly she was studying but she's very smart and um, she gets told I guess it was part of what she needs to do for I guess she's still in, in doing schooling or something like that and um She's told she needs to, to get on this, this ship to, to continue her research or do some research. And um, she kind of gets painted as, as maybe a little bit of a loner. Maybe she doesn't want, you know, doesn't want to kind of uh, engage socially with some of the other people. And uh, she, she's hesitant about going, and uh, but she ends up going anyway. And, you know, she gets introduced to some of the people on the boat. You know, again, you know, it's kind of awkward for her and, you know, awkward for some of them as well. And, um, you know, they get going and then they realize that, you know, I guess there's something about redheads being on a boat. And at first she's wearing a cap so you can't really see. But um, she reveals that, that she has a redhead and I guess that's bad luck. Redheads are bad luck on boats. Or at least that's what I gathered. I don't know how really true that is. Or I guess some fishermen have um, through a lot of superstitions and so forth. I think, you know, we learned a little bit about that if, if you ever watched the another recent tile, Harpoon, uh, about some of the superstitions at sea and, and on boats and fishermen and so forth. Um, so I think being a redhead is also another superstition that is bad luck. And, um, so, you know, they kind of go back and forth. They want her to cover up and then, you know, she eventually takes off her hat. Or, but that's besides the point. Um, they set off and, and here they're, they're kind of on a, on a fishing, fishing boat. So, um, they're headed out to, you know, to go for their next catch. It's a pretty big boat. And, um, they, we meet. The, the, the captain in charge is a, is a woman and I guess her partner um, and early on as after they get going um, they get told by radio that they can't go to I guess a certain area that they were interested in going in they have to go somewhere else um, so the captain's like okay and then as she kind of leaves um, this guy decides no we're going to go there anyway and um, he changes course without her knowing and uh, they end up in an area they were not supposed to go. And uh, when that happens, they they kind of find themselves um, stuck. And then, of course, they they're wondering, you know, why? Are, well, you know, what has happened? Why have we stopped? Why have we come to a halt here? And uh, basically, we find out that. Um, this this young girl is, sees these things on the on the walls of the inside of the boat, and uh, it almost looks like the the walls of the boat are, are oozing or like there are holes in the wall, and uh, it looks like they're almost coming apart uh, or they're starting to drool almost, and um, so it's very odd. And you know when she got on the boat, one of the things they that you know she told them that she could do is obviously go on scuba dive. And uh, that's what's happening here. And uh, she jumps in the water and it's kind of investigating. She sees like these tentacle things that are attached to the boat. And uh, as she's looking, she kind of turns and looks down to see this big other 
creature, you know, it's not really a squid or, you know, it might look a little bit like that, but probably not necessarily a squid. And uh, it's kind of glowing and so forth and uh, has maybe a center to it. Um, whether you know what it eats or what it does with the center, I, I don't know. And it's never really made clear. Um, but it's a kind of attached itself to the boat. And uh, that's what's kind of brought it to a halt. And um, it goes back and she, she obviously kind of gets freaked out. She gets it out, she goes in the boat, she tells him what's happening. And uh, you know, as this is happening, you're kind of thinking, okay, well, this is a sea creature attack kind of movie. And, and um, you know, it's gonna come back and attack them and start killing all people. But then it really happens. Um, this is this is, that's not really this type of movie. Um, instead, it's it's more of a of an, an attack if you want to call it, but in a different way. And uh, basically, is 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 that when that when it attached itself to the boat and was causing that ooze or whatever, um, I guess it kind of got parasites into the boat and um, kind of you know like the in between and this and that thing. Certain events happen. And uh, it ultimately ends up in the water supply of the boat. So, of course, that's that's a big problem. Um, and, uh, you know, one of the fun scenes or better scenes in this movie is is when they you find out this is in the water supply. Because, um, you know, one guy who, who has been infected, I guess if you want to call it infected, I don't know if that's the right term. Um, but I guess he basically had the parasites in him. Uh, he starts acting a little crazy, and then, you know, I don't want to give away what happens to him, but uh, it's, I guess, one of the more brutal scenes in the movie, and, um, you know, if you're looking for the blood and guts in, in this movie, you know, I always like to point it out, you know, when a, if a movie has some blood and guts in it or so forth, because, uh, again, I say it a million times, I'm a blood and guts guy, um, yeah, you know, something happens to this person, and, uh, it's fun if, if that's what you're looking for. Um, and then it kind of trickles down and, and happens. Certain individuals on the, on the boat have different things happen to them um, because of the parasite. So it's that, you know, kind of that kind of movie. You know, not Parasite, the movie that, that won, you know, all the awards and stuff. This is different. This is, you know, that, that was Parasite meaning in a different, kind of a different way. This is actually a real parasite that's on the boat. Um, and in the water and um, so uh, you know another another fun part of, of this of this movie especially if you're looking for I guess the scares or the blood and guts in this movie is, is um, they, they see a boat in the distance and I guess they get on one of their smaller boats and they go investigate this boat and um, yeah there's I guess you know if you're also looking for again the frights or the blood in the movie comes a little bit in that scene as well. Um, but, you know, one thing about this movie is it's kind of very dramatic, very serious. Um, uh, you know, it's not a lot of downtime. You know, it kind of keeps going. You know, you know, you get the beginning where they, you know, they kind of do the, the usual, introduce all the characters and so forth. But, um, you know, the girl is very serious. She's, you know, it's taking it again from mostly her point of view. So, um, since she's very serious, the movie is very serious, um, you know, like I said, the, the crew jokes here and there, but, you know, it's not really for the audience, it's mostly just them showing that, you know, they're together group of, of fishermen and, and so forth, and, um, but it's a very more serious movie, there's some really good shots in the movie, um, again, there is a little bit of blood and guts in the movie, and, um, I guess, you know, it has, uh, I don't know if you want to call it a twist, maybe, maybe something a little bit more unexpected happened towards the end of the movie, and, um, I'd say, you know, it's, it's not, you know, necessarily one of those, those happy ending movies, um, I don't know if that gives away too much, but, uh, you know, like I said, the girl's very serious, she takes this very seriously, um, you know, she kind of investigates and, you know, she's really the only one on the on the boat who really has a true understanding of what's going on here. Um, there is one other guy who, who 
um, kind of helps her out and is is kind of um, inclined in a different way um, to to kind of support her and help her out with what he can do. And uh, you know, obviously, you know, they try different methods to get rid of the parasite. Um, some prove a little more effective than the others, um, but at the end of the day, you know, this is you know a big ship, a good ship, and a good crew. But it's just for them, it ends up being a a, a, a disastrous adventure. <laughs> and um, again, you know, this is not not necessarily a creature feature movie. Uh, more of a, a parasite in the, in the water and and um, use your imagination to what that does to, to some of the people on the boat and um, but yeah again a, a very more serious movie um, and uh, you know it was well shot and so forth and uh, I believe it's an Irish film or I guess it, it focused on that but also I guess it was it had some involvement from maybe some other countries but um you know, not not one here made in the in the United States, as far as I, I understand. So uh, it's a little bit more of a serious tone to the movie, and uh, keeps that from beginning to end. But uh, it is well shot, and, and the acting is, is pretty solid uh, um, all around. And can't say I'm too familiar with too many of those faces without truly looking them up and seeing if maybe I've recognized them from somewhere else. But um, anyway, it's a solid movie overall. I I think worthy of. of Three pools of blood. Um, you know, I was you know not the most exciting movie in the world. Uh, again, because it has a very more serious tone and just kind of takes a serious pacing. Um, but you know, there there is some good stuff in there, and you know maybe I could have used a, a little bit more from the blood and guts angle or whatever. But you know that's not totally what this movie was about. Um, but a good story overall as as well. So. Um, you know, just, just a solid movie. Um, you know, I, I don't think, you know, everybody's going to be, going to be too many people that are jumping out there saying how exciting the movie is or saying the movie is terrible or anything like that, but just, you know, just overall, a, a regular solid, um, film. And, um, so I guess I'll, I'll leave it at that and, um, I'll get out of the sea now, get, get dried off and, um, Again, three pools of blood for this one. And um, information down below, horrorsgorereviews.blogspot.com. If you're looking for more of these videos, even some written reviews, and you can go way back, do tons of, tons of um, written reviews um, over the years. And uh, again, subscribe to the channel if you can, if you want more reviews. And uh, Social media as well is, is down below, and feel free to comment on this video, and, and if you've seen this movie, give me your opinion. I'd definitely be interested in um, hearing your thoughts as well. Uh, whether you liked it or you disliked it, whatever, you know, we can agree to disagree to that. That is fine as well. So um, that's it for this one, and I will catch you on the next review, horror fans.